Next, the banjo ukulele. This is our RKU25. It's kind of in the Madison series, as you see a similar Madison style of some of our other banjos. And, you know, you look at these kind of smaller instruments, hopefully you're, you're thinking that instantly they're fun. And talk about fun, the banjo ukulele is definitely on that style. Back in the physical trade show era, this is another one of those instruments that we'd have on the wall and probably more people would come by to take it off the wall and play it than almost any other instrument we'd have in our booth. So if, if you're, once again, if you're a shop owner or a shop staffer, I'm sure you've probably seen the same thing. You put this on the wall and people are somehow drawn to it. If you look at the last 12 or 13 years, the explosion of people interested in first banjo and then ukulele, and of course the ukulele explosion is still still in the process of exploding and becoming bigger. And so here is why not take advantage of both of those things, banjo interest, ukulele instrument, or interest and instant banjo ukulele. So it's a really cool sounding instrument. If you look at other things that we did on this or against the market, these range all the way from a hundred bucks to g 700 bucks. The low end ones have a lot of plastic components, including a plastic rim, plastic nut, etc. Uh, this rim, you know, all the all the parts that are not metal in the head are, of course, actual wood. Uh, you'll also see some other models on the higher end that have a really gigantic pod assembly, and that that can sound good. You know, I won't I won't mislead you on that. Uh, however, at the same time. It's not really something that's functional for most people that are interested in this, where they're drawn to it. It's something that they want to be able to just put under their arm like a regular ukulele. And so we really tried to find the sweet spot with this exact rim size. Uh, however, also too, I want to make sure to point out some of the other things. The uh, market also has a number of closed back options, not resonator, but closed back, which is something that historically was made for some banjo ukuleles. But unlike a banjo resonator that is intended to kind of guide and project the sound, every closed back banjo ukulele that we've played or even in our prototypes when we messed with it, it ended up just closing off the sound. And so that really wasn't ideal. So we've got wood construction, open back, and then also you'll see a range of different scale lengths. A traditional ukulele would be soprano, concert, tenor, baritone type of uh, designations. However, in our experiments, we actually found for this banjo ukulele style, the soprano scale length was actually better. Some people think, oh, but concert or tenor, you have the same tuning, you get a little more string tension, so you get more projection. Well, because of how this banjo head and the pot assembly are, that extra tension actually made the sound to us a little more brittle. We found a, a richer more pleasant tone from the soprano scale length. So that's why we offer this one only in soprano scale length. It is intentional. It's from looking at, you know, both a range of what else is out there as well as our own prototypes. So that's something to know about this particular RKU25. Um, then also too, Remo Head, Good Tuners, and Maple and Ebony Bridge. So all contributing to the sonic footprint of this exact instrument.